All right, peeps, so today we're gonna be doing a new build inside the Pure Base 500 FX gaming chassis. Now, this is not a new PC case. Um, it's been around for some time, but Be Quiet sent this over a couple months ago, and we're gonna do a build in it. And we're gonna do a build using the RTX 4060 Ti Founders Edition. You, you know what that means, right? This is the first time on this channel we're gonna use the FE card to do a build, which excites me because looks so sexy uh, anyway this card's been getting a lot of hate in the past week and let me tell you guys who I think this card's for if you're coming from a 1660 2060 and you game at 20 uh, 1080p resolution and you're looking to get into DLSS 3 I think this card's fantastic but if you're coming from a 3060 Ti to this I don't think it's worth it there are some games that a 4060 Ti can beat the 3060 Ti in but there's a lot more games that the 3060 Ti actually wins the 4060 Ti in so Again, great card if you're coming from a 1660, 2060, and you're looking to get into DLSS 3, and obviously you're gaming at 1080p, fantastic. But other than that, no, no. But we're still gonna do a build in it because we're gonna do some game testings at the end, and we're gonna see how this card performs. But I got more components here we're gonna go over. Real quick, we got the ROG Strix Z790 eGaming Wi-Fi motherboard. We're gonna be pairing that with the 13700K processor. We got the Pure Loop 2 FX 360mm AIO from Be Quiet, obviously. And we got the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 1000W ATX 3.0 Gold Rated Power Supply. Also, we're gonna be throwing in some Patriot Gaming Viper Venom 32GB DDR5 memory sticks in here. There can be overclocked to 7200 megahertz speeds. And we're gonna also throw in a one terabyte crucial M.2 SSD in here. So I think that's gonna complete the whole system real nice. And at the end, after we finish the build, we're gonna test some games. So how about I be quiet, uh, get it? Be quiet and start this build.
So we got the RTX 4060 Ti installed inside the Be Quiet Pure Base 500 FX. And I think this case is pretty good for people that are looking for a nice, decent case with good RGB lighting, uh, a lot of room for putting in your hardware, and also something that's gonna be a mid-tower case. Now, Be Quiet does include a lot of pre-installed fans in here, like they have three 120 millimeter fans up here at the front, and they also got a 140 at the rear side. For water cooling support, you can have one 360 millimeter radiator or AIO right here at the front, or you can do a 240 at the top with obviously different fan variations. So three 120s or two 140s right here at the front area and two 140s or two uh, 120s at the top so overall case is really good I, ha I didn't have any kind of issues when putting in hardware in here and as far as cable management goes be quiet adds a lot of tie down points so if you're looking to have that clean cable management well they got you covered with included velcro straps so that's pretty cool but you may be asking well how does this pc fare up to the gaming right so RTX 4060 Ti, I have a bunch of games on here that we're gonna test out. So let's just see how it performs. All right, so we're gonna be playing five games on this PC and um, we're gonna push it to its limit with very high settings. Uh, first game we're gonna start out with is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, shall we? So we're gonna take a look at the settings and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be uh, using for the display options. So we're gonna be gaming at 1080p, 165 hertz, V-Sync off, and for graphics, everything is gonna be on high let's go baby all right we're about to jump in the game uh right now game is running at 350 ish fps ranging from like 340 to 350 which remember all the settings are at high oh what 419 412 that's where we're hovering at you guys can see the frame rates right over there uh, we're gonna play this last round and we're gonna jump into some Call of Duty multiplayer. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, what? All right, I'm done with this game. Anyway, 348 FPS, it was hovering around there. I just completely suck at this game. So we're gonna look at the settings. Uh, again, 165 Hertz, 1920 by 1080 and quality. We're gonna put on everything recommended. Everything's pretty much on high. All right, so let's see what we got here. So right now we're running at 160 FPS. Go baby, out you go. Out you go. Nope. Ah. Oh, trying to snipe me. Out you go, baby. See ya. Sucker. Woo! Triple threat. Ah. Oh. oh my god, what a bad timing was that. <laughs> oh, peekaboo. Oh, ah, oh. Ha. Ah. You kill, I kill you. Oh, how did I get that? Oh my God, that was decoy. The decoy. What's going on? Oh. Oh my God. All right, so for Halo Infinity, we're gonna be playing at 90 FOV. Uh, and then for the graphic settings, we got on 1080p resolution with everything set to medium. So let's go. Where was, where was he even at? Nice, finally got one kill. Oh, I know you. Oh, this is, oh, I'm bazooka. Come on. Oh my God, that guy with the bazooka. He's just, he's just having a jolly old time with his rocket launcher. Oh my God. All right, I'm 
I'm done. All right, so we're jumping into CSGO, and here are gonna be the settings that are gonna be on this game. 1080p and the rest are right here. Oh, oh, come on. Nice, oh, come on. Oh, oh. Game's running at 350 FPS and we just died. Nice. Oh. Oh, kill one person, then I died. Oh. Okay, so next up we're gonna be playing Valorant, and here are the settings. All right, so next up we're gonna be playing Valorant, and here are the settings: 1080p, and everything else is on high. All right, last game. Valorant and uh, hopefully I, I can redeem myself. Oh my god, how, what kind of aiming was that? Oh come on. Oh my god. Alright, so there you guys have it. That is gonna be my crappy performance in five game titles and uh, RTX 4060 Ti does a fantastic job handling the workload when it comes to 1080p gaming. Again, if you're looking to get into a budget DLSS 3 uh, realm and you want to come from a 2060 or a 1660, this card is fantastic for that. I was averaging around 300 to 350 FPS. Uh, Valorant was like around 450. Uh, so even in Call of Duty was like around 190, 200. So anyway, um, yeah, great card for 1080p gaming. And um, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoy this, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, and uh, I know you guys are already gonna roast me about my gameplay, but it's all good. I want to show you guys the performance that this card uh, can bring to you when you gaming on 1080p. Uh, resolution but let me know what you guys think down below and like this video if you guys enjoyed it it'll help me out and the channel and until next time guys i'll catch you on the next one